Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video and spend a portion of your day with me. It really means a lot to me. Today, I will be sharing with you my overdue beauty bank update for the month of March. Today is June 9th. My anniversary was June 6th. My husband got me these beautiful flowers, these beautiful roses. I'll insert a picture right here. So I wanted to put them in my background before they die. So I am on a low buy for the month of, for the year of 2023. And I also want to hit, um, I also want to use up 23 makeup items in the year 2023. Those are my goals. My purchasing habits um, have decreased, but I've also been really busy with school and working and life and family and stuff like that. So that has helped me being so busy that I can't really look at Instagram or, you know, email stuff like that so that really that has helped a lot but if you are interested for my update for the month of march my long-awaited one then go ahead and keep on watching all right my friends so i have some rules i for the year 2023 I could purchase 36 makeup items and 36 eyeshadow palettes. You're probably thinking, Erica, that is a boatload of makeup. But compared to what I was purchasing last year, that is significantly lower. I'm allowed three makeup items per month. I broke it down. Three makeup items per month, three eyeshadow palettes per month. I have been doing really well. So um, I will leave my intro January, February down below. As of February... I have um, 40 makeup items, 40 makeup points, and 33 palette points. So we have empties, all that stuff. I will go through my empties, my gifted, and then my what I purchased for the month of March. I believe March is the month that I have purchased the most. So if you don't want to see that haul, I'll go ahead and tell you when to stop. But let's go ahead and jump into my empties for the month of March. I will... I already filmed it, but I haven't uploaded my March empties. So we do have three makeup items, base products. Um, one of the first ones that I finished up was in my Partners in Cream, this Marc Jacobs Marvelous Mousse. I really love this. I figured how to pair it well with um, this primer. It's a really hydrating primer. This is also lighter for me, so I wanted to use it, you know, in the earlier part of the year before I start to get dark. But I really enjoy this. Unfortunately, Marc Jacob is no longer a makeup, um, no longer a makeup company. But I do have one backup. I did find these at TJ Maxx quite some time ago, so it worked very well. Um, it was really good with my oily skin. Um, I wonder if Marc Jacobs will start making makeup again. I'm not too sure. The next one was this Bare Minerals concealer. This is in tan. Um, this was super dark. I, this was in part of my 2023 plan to pan. I did do a check-in. I'll leave those videos linked down below. But you see that silver pan. This is tan one. So it was really dark. But I use it as like a cream bronzer. Which I'm going to start doing a lot of my darker foundation. Use it as a cream bronzer. Just a little bit. Because I feel like I need a little bit extra coverage on my cheeks. I can do a lighter foundation everywhere else. And then just build it up right here. Which I did with a darker foundation from It Cosmetics. And I absolutely love that. So I do enjoy this concealer. It just wasn't my shade, so I repurposed it. But I got that empty. And then this was um, uh, Urban Decay, also part of my pants plan, um, in medium warm. And the same thing, this was really dark, so I used this as a powder foundation. And I really loved that as well. My darker powder foundations, I'm going to start using them as a bronzer as well. I'm going to go through my collection and see... Um, all my darker products because I was always going to the beach and stuff like that but the, within this past few years I really haven't changed color so I do have a lot of older powders when I was really tan like this is medium tan like that is really really dark so uh, I'm glad I got to get this and also if I don't have any I might pick up like a cover girl or something like that just to give me an extra coverage that I do love and I do need and I do enjoy so um, I did my makeup a little bit differently today. We do have a cr liquid highlighter or a cream highlighter on. That's in my 
project techniques and I liked it I, I actually like it it's a little bit on the pinker side but I put it over powder and it didn't mess up anything so I'm really happy I am outside my comfort zone so those are the three makeup items so we bump up our makeup to 43 palette 43 makeup points and then 33 palette points with these empties let me go get my gifted items and then i will be right back Alrighty, i have my gifted items um they are both from sydney grace these are gifted to me by my mother um i don't always get gifts or anything like that but if i do i will include them and she wanted to get me the unbreakable bond with the face palette that was released in March it's still in plastic I haven't even used it so now that I'm showing you I will definitely use it soon and then at the time we were kind of arguing and then we saw we started talking again of course you know my mother she's my best friend we always fight we're actually <laughs> not speaking to each other right now but that'll change soon and she's like I want I know things aren't aren't good but we have an unbreakable bond and that is actually what the palette is called, Unbreakable Bond. And I chose the deep one. She chose the light one for me. So beautiful, beautiful palette. And thank you, Mother, for gifting me these, even though you're not speaking to me right now. But that's okay. Um, I I think this one was the, the, these two are the different ones. I can't remember which one was. I'll go ahead and pop in pictures, but this is very beautiful. I will probably put this in my project can use so I can get some use out of this. But... It is very lovely and I really enjoy Sydney Grace. I've been buying more and more Sydney Grace. I did buy her the Be Mine palette for, I think for her birthday, I got her the Be Mine palette or the, yeah, the Be Mine, the Valentine's one. I got that for her and I told her if you wanted any single shadows. I don't think I got her any single shadows, but she does have a few in my March. We'll get there, we'll get there. So this is the Unbreakable Bond, gifted to me by my mother. And then she did want to give me, gift me the face palette as well. She got hers, and hers was the light. I picked the light as well. Was there medium and deep? I'm not too sure. But this was the Luminous Light palette. Very beautiful. Um, I like deeper eyeshadows. I do like a deeper, deeper powder. I do like a deeper bronzer. And blush but the highlight was really deep I wouldn't be able to use that so I did go with a lighter version and some I don't always need to have a deep one so on days where I'm like I want a little bit lighter makeup this is perfect and she did also and she did also get the light one as well so this is that guy so beautiful let me know if you tried any of these or if you're interested in um, a get ready with me because I do need to use these but now that I am showing you I can use them so this is the only two things that I was gifted let me go ahead and gather the things that I have purchased so if you don't want to see the haul sayonara but if you do then go ahead and keep on watching alrighty so I have purchased one two three four four days but multiple multiple things of those orders the first one was every First Tuesday of every month, Copacetic does do $2 Tuesday, so I buy all five of them. And that's going to count as one makeup purchase. It's not going to count as five individuals. It's going to count as one. I am newer to the single eyeshadow game, so I'm not overly purchasing single eyeshadows, so that's why I am going to count it as one. And I did put it in this Ofra palette that I got from BoxyCharm. This was February's. This was March's. I do have a swatch video with this this kind of looks like the shadow that is on my eyes today but this is natasha denona so this is marches um i do have a swatch video um that i will have linked down below and pop up right here too but we have wise mind i'll go ahead and insert the picture that'll be better because <laughs> I'm just gonna have these all over the place so this is March and I want to just keep them in here um, I, this will be probably my copacetic although I have some Z palettes coming so this is one purchase one makeup purchase next is my March bundle for Sydney Grace I have been purchasing since January each month but that is a bundle so that is also counted as one makeup 
item. It's not going to be individually, however, it's broken down because it is purchased as a bundle. Um, like I said in February, I don't know if that is cheating or not, but that's just how I'm going to go and do things. So in January, I did purchase the Sydney Grace, and I did purchase one of these little guys, little magnetics. So this was, this is January, so this is February's, and this is March's. It came with um, a cream eyeshadow, but my mother has that one, uh, with also another one, and then it came with this lip gloss. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it needs to be mixed up. Yeah, okay, it just needs to be mixed up. All the pigment settled down at the bottom. I was like, is this empty? So the, I'll leave the picture of the bundle. I have yet to use any of these. I actually haven't used any of my Sydney Grace. But once I catch up on filming, I will definitely, you know, be using this. I do want to expand my single shadow collection. Thanks to Amy and Shelly. Actually, Shelly is the one who told me that I had, I think I found out. And then she's like, did you know that they had Sydney Grace bottles? I was like, yes. I was like, I just found out. So in January, I've been purchasing them. And then she had told me starting, I think at the end of January, she had told me about the Copacetic. So I've been purchasing all of the... Two dollar eyeshadows the first of the first Tuesday of every month. So keep note if you're interested in cheaper single shadows. I think that's a great rate way to go as well. So we have our single collection is building up. Um, once I catch up on all my videos, I want to do um, my single shadow collection so you can see how how it's growing, what I had before, and what I had now. Let me know if that's a video idea that you would like to see. So I did purchase my Sydney Grace bundle on the 21st, and also on the 21st, I ordered from Luxie Cosmetics for the first time. I missed the sale before, so I got this one. Each shadow was $2.50. I bought 16 of them. I'm going to go ahead and show you, but I'm going to count this as a palette because it will fit in the Z palette. So that will be a palette point. Let's come nicely. I wanted to do a swatch video as well. Um, oh, I guess they all come in here. They all come in here, so I do want to film a swatch video, so I'm not going to go through that right now. But I did buy 16, and my total was $44.75, um, including $5 shipping. Um, so if you want to see, I will go ahead and put a screenshot of the shadows that I did purchase. But yeah, I'm super excited about these, and I do will have a swatch video coming, but that will be one palette point. Because it's 16, I'm going to put it in the Z palette. And then on the 22nd, the next day, I have, was looking for Z palettes and all that. Um, I don't think that I have any more Z palettes because, like I said, I am expanding my single shadow collection. So I saw ABH had $10 Z palettes, and I bought three of them. And I also told Amy, and I think she bought two of them, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go ahead and open this box, and I will go ahead and show you the Z palettes, the colors that I did pick. So it does come nicely bundled, nicely packaged, even though they're just Z palettes, in case you are curious and want to purchase any. These are $10 each. I did get three of them. Of course, I had to get a bright lime. If you know me, this is my jam. This is my color. And then I did get this one and then this animal print one. So... The Luxie Cosmetics will probably go probably go in this one, one of, one of these two, so you'll be seeing that, and th that will be for my Luxie, and then another one will be for Copacetics, because my Copacetics are building up, and if my Sydney Grace um, fills up, I will just order another Sydney Grace one, so these will just be for different ones, Sydney Grace will always have a Sydney Grace Z palette, but um, yeah, let me show you how much I spent. They were just $10 each. It doesn't say my total on here, does it? No, it doesn't. So $10 each. Um, I can link ABH down below. I make nothing off that, but just so it's easier for you. Um, but $10 Z palettes, I think that's pretty cheap. And they are, I think, 28, 28 pan Z palettes. So you can fit 28 shadows in here. This is a holographic cheetah. Uh, the purple zebra and then this is the yellow green glitter they do have two more which i think is like a purple and a peach or a pink and a purple i'm not too sure but eventually i'll go ahead and have all of them but i just wanted to get three because i believe you got free shipping at 25 dollars. so i was like let me get three of them get free shipping because i will have these filled up and then my last purchase was from ulta this was my first purchase for the 21 days of beauty normally i go 
fucking crazy um buying everything in sight but this year i did very very well it started on the 14th i didn't place my first order on until the 30th and then i only purchased one more thing after this but that will be in march's i mean in april's update so i did purchase three palettes from nabla they were all half off i did only use one but i've been interested in the nabla palettes i could have bought more than this but i only <laughs> i only bought one so we did get the nabla read my mind palette here's what this one looks like so let me know if you purchase these or if you purchase anything from nabla um, i wasn't interested in this one until my mom told me about it i was like oh yeah and i did use this i'll go ahead and pop in a picture i did use this the day that it got here so the day that i got here we were going to a concert and i never open up palettes and use them that day but i was like why not like i need to start doing that so this one was a read my mind i absolutely loved it and i cannot wait to play with it more i might put this in my project 10 uses because of all the pinks pinks and you know springtime is actually over but for me it's over in here in texas it's getting into the hundreds and then um the nabla secret palette i don't think i wanted to purchase the trip this wasn't this wasn't on my list i was only gonna do the nabla dreamy and then my mom convinced me to get this one and then amy convinced me to get this one i'm like why not it's half off i've been really good so i was just like the color story is meh but i think it's actually quite pretty and then i watched a video and i believe this is dirty i didn't this came like that kind of broken and i was watching mel thompson i on youtube i went i looked up nabla uh, what is this secret palette and i saw mel thompson and then she convinced me, uh, she convinced me to purchase this one. So everybody misses Mel. Mel is still part of the beauty community, but she, unfortunately she has passed on. But yeah, so this one is very pretty. I do need to clean this guy up. And I thought it came broken and I was heartbroken, but it's just some of the black shadows that kind of like spilled everywhere. And it's getting over here. Let me go ahead and clean this up before I put it away. And then the last purchase for March was the Dreamy palette, what I initially was only going to buy. But then I was like, I was going to buy some of the smaller ones. I was like, you know what? They're, these are half off, so I'm going to get the bigger ones now because it's a bigger savings. And this is the Nabla Dreamy palette. So pretty. I think uh, this is very beautiful. And I was talking to Amy. She's like, I think I have that, but I don't think I like it. Like I use it once and then she was playing with it. She's like, I love it. You have to get it. It was already on my list to purchase though. But yeah, she got to play with hers. And I think it's a beautiful color story. Very, very Valentine's, very February, very, you know, winter, but also any time of year. So I did get this one. You will be seeing looks with all of these coming very soon and rolling into like my project. 10 uses, 100 uses. Those I use for more higher end items that I'm trying to work on and show some love usually it's newer higher end stuff that i haven't been uh, focusing on for my project 10 uses but yeah those are my purchases let me let me break down the numbers for you all righty we are back with the numbers so makeup i had 43 with the empties i have purchased five items the three abh z palettes the sydney grace bundle and then the copacetic two dollar bundle which brings me down to 38 makeup points for the rest of the year my palette points start at 33 i did purchase four the three nablas and then the one uh look -see. it's a it's singles but i'm gonna have that as a palette so that is four bring me down to 29 palette points i'm super happy with that march i mean april it's a better month i have been purchasing i did purchase more in may but we will get there it's only june 9th that i am filming this so I need to really jump on the ball with catching up with things. But I'm super happy with those numbers. They could be a lot worse. And I think I will be successful this year, especially once school comes around come fall. I know like March, I was kind of like, oh, I was, I'm doing so well. Let me purchase things. Always the 21 days of beauty gets me. And then I just found other cells. Everything has been actually on a sale other than like the bundle, you know what I mean? But I still use Mel Thompson's code, which is Puffins Y15. If you are interested in the Sydney Grace monthly bundles, I think that's a great way to build your collection. Not that I need to, but I have been interested in more single shadows. So that is my March, my long-awaited March update. 
for you. Let me know how you are doing. You will be seeing my March empties next. That is already filmed, but I wanted to film this first. Let me know how you're doing with your purchases. If you've been doing well, if you've been failing, if you have been purchasing a lot, that is totally okay. We all go through things. You know, I know in March, I mean, in May, I had placed a few orders and I'm like, shit, with Glam Light, you'll be seeing a Glam Light haul soon. Um, but it was because I was done with school, I was stressy and stuff like that. So I do stress by, I have more free time now that I am not in school, but I will be starting summer school July 10th. So I may be starting a new job too. I am not too sure, I might be moving bars. I will know Monday, which you will probably, I don't know when you will see this. But if you are here to the very end, please leave me a little flower or a little sunflower. I'm really into sunflowers. I always love sunflowers. So leave me a little sunflower or let me a rose. Let me a rose for my anniversary. I love you all and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.